So today I'm going to quickly share some plans that we have for our kitchen reno. So this man door here is between our kitchen and our dining room and we're going to open that up so that there's more flow in our house. This large window that you're looking at here is going to be replaced by a smaller window and we're going to have a countertop running straight from this corner all the way into that room behind where this kitchen is now. The wall that the range is on is going to be removed and the flooring is going to be replaced. So these kitchen cabinets are original to our 1960s colonial house and they have served us well for many years. The hinges are breaking now, so it's time for some new cabinets here. So that wall will be removed. This wall here is actually a closet and it will also be removed. We've been using it as a pantry for now. So this room here is going to be a part of our kitchen plans. So the counter is going to run all the way to this door here. And then the other side of the galley kitchen is going to run to here. We're going to move the door over so that it's parallel with the other door. In this corner, we're going to have a walk-in pantry and then a powder room over here so that people, when they are outside, they can come in quickly and use the bathroom. So demo day has finally arrived and all hands are on deck at our house. Hi, it's Megan from A Seasonal Abode and right now I'm standing in my kitchen. So a few months ago, back in December, we started renovating our kitchen. So our kitchen was original to our house, which is a late 1960s colonial style house, and it needed replacing. We had hinges breaking, water damage in the kitchen, so we felt that it was time to put some money back into our home. So this is where we're at. We have the subfloor in, the electricity is done, the drywall has been put up, and we put in our windows last month. So the next thing is the kitchen cabinet. So I just wanted to share some ideas that I have for this space. Because we had a main staircase located right off our kitchen and we didn't want to go into a major renovation, we decided that we were going to work with the layout of our house. So we're going with a galley style kitchen. Now there's not that many galley style kitchens out there. Most kitchens these days are feature open concept with islands and work tables but we took on the challenge. We are going to try and make this galley kitchen warm and inviting. I'm going with the European farmhouse inspired theme. So the first thing I knew that I wanted to incorporate was natural lighting. I am a huge fan of, of natural lighting in the kitchen. So to my left here, we placed a large window above what will be my farmhouse apron sink and then another window beside that. So there will be no uppers on this side of the kitchen at all. We're going with light colors, so Strain of Pearls by Benjamin Moore. And I wanted to bring in that European influence. So we're going with unlacquered brass for our hardware. And then I was trying to think of how can I make this new kitchen appear as if it is timeless and old. So after researching, I came up with some common things that I really liked and I asked myself what those pictures had in common. And one of the things that those kitchens had was they all featured a warm oil painting in them. So I'm going to try and source a beautiful warm oil painting for my kitchen. So it's going to be very light, but then I'm going to bring in warm tones with the oil paintings. We're going to have a warm oak floor. One of our cabinets is going to be glass. The interior of the glass cabinet will be wood. So that's going to draw out the warm colors there. The wall directly behind me, we're going to make into an accent wall. So originally we had planned to do a stucco brick accent wall. My husband does stucco. We decided against that and we're going to go with something that's easier to change and wipe because it is in the kitchen. And we're going with a peel and stick wallpaper. So we'll see how that goes. It definitely looks very realistic and it is bringing in uh, the warm colors that I'm hoping for. So those are our plans for our kitchen. We hope to have the cabinets in in a few weeks and then in a, in a month or two, then I would like to share a kitchen reveal with you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I do have the designs that I did create over on my blog at aseasonalabode.com. You can check out that link. It's in the description box below if you would like to get those plans for yourself. Thanks for stopping by A Seasonal Abode.